Here's a quick video to uh, show everybody how to export your uh, references from your RefWorks account and then import them into another tool. In my case, I'm using Zotero, um, but this will work for other tools as well. So you'll begin by hitting Share and then um, selecting Export References. Um, this will open up a new little window in front here that asks you what format to use. Um, you can use RIS format, which will um, get you uh, the, the format that you need for most uh, bibliographic managers. Um, you can double check, I guess, with the, the um, destination uh, tool that you're using to make sure that you're outputting the right format, but I, I believe usually it's RIS. Okay, and I'm going to choose here all references um, that I have. If you have different folders you want to export things separately, you can do that as well. I'm going to do everything at once. So there, we're going to export. Um, and so down here in my uh, browser window, it shows that there's an export file that's been created. Um, so that has all the information that we need in that file to um, import it into our other tool. Alright, so now I'm in my Zotero account, and um, what I need to do is um, go to File, and then select Import. And now this is specific to Zotero, different programs will have different uh, workflows for this, but I'm going to Import here. Um, it um, has different options for ways that you can import. Um, most of them have to do with importing a file, and you can see RIS is in there as an option uh, for import. So we can continue. Um, now you have to know where yours is located. I moved mine onto the desktop so that it would be easy for me to find. Um, but just make sure you know where that file is, that export.irs file, um, and click to open. Um, and then there's a couple of options here as well, so you can place imported collections and items into a new collection, that's what I'm going to do, so it's going to create a new um, collection or a new folder uh, with all of these items. Um, and then you can either uh, copy the files to the Zotero storage folder, so actual uh, fi attached files will be um, included in the Zotero storage, um, or you can link to the original. Um, so that, that's up to you how you want to do that, if you want to have um, the files moved over or if you just want to uh, link, link to um, the original location. Um, in this case, I, I believe it's just bibliographic information that I have, and so um, I don't believe there's any files for me to link. Um, once you do that, it'll take a moment just to, to do your import. Um, so 112 items were imported. I can say I'm done. And so here's all of the um, the sources that I had in my RefWorks account, all 112 of them have now been moved over um, here into, um, into my Zotero account. If you'd like to uh, rename this, you can always do that. You can rename the collection, um, whatever you like. I'll give it the name from RefWorks. Um, and now I know that those are uh, the files that came over. Now I can start to integrate them into my, my file structure that I have here. If you're brand new to using Zotero, then you can you know, set this up however you like. Um, but that's the basic process so that you can keep these even if you're not using RefWorks anymore. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions about that, feel free to contact the library um, and we can get you set up and help you troubleshoot if you're encountering any troubles. So um, do get in touch if you're, if you're wondering about any of that. All right, take care, bye-bye.